Peace and blessings be upon all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. What is good, family? What is good, family? All glory given to your father, for he is a father that has so much in store for you. I don't understand, family, how God wants to call all of us into his kingdom, but so many of us don't want to take this chance and we have nothing to lose. We have all absolutely nothing to lose. Like, you, you hear your brother and... I tell you, fast and fast in a hurry. You are walking, talking prophecy. You will die, and if you don't get right, if you don't get right, you will be dumped in, into hell, family. Dumped off into hell, family. So that's that's God's prophecy on your life that He gave each and every one of us. But a lot of us don't fear Him enough to heed to His warning. Your God, He for those who don't believe in God, you serve a sovereign, loving God who loves, family. Who He. He is the, the embodiment of love. There's a lot of people out there that don't know what love is unless they go through Jesus. But you know your brother, I will tell you that. But your father has so much love for you that you don't want, that you don't want to take uh, a hand of. And your father would tell you fast, even, even if you don't want to believe me, even if you don't want to take my word serious, for the things that you have done, you have made yourself my enemy. Because Jesus will tell you, if you're not my friend, you're my enemy. If you're not working with me, you my enemy. You know what I'm saying? The Lord will tell you that. So the father has to be the same. So you spending your life and you're not taking him serious and you're not walking with him. Therefore, you're making God your enemy. So I just want I want you to think about long and hard for those who don't believe in God that he really he really loves. I was just thinking about a, a minute ago. People got time, family. They got time. He gives you a gang of time to get right. He really does. And it's not a lot that he's asking. People act like us uh, surrendering our lives to him is something that's a lot. We surrender our lives to everything else. We surrender our lives to our own pleasure. We surrender our lives to the things that we want. We surrender our lives to people around us and do things for them. Why, why we can't surrender our lives to the, the almighty creator? And the one thing that people don't understand about God is that he does. OK, you might not see him, but he is moving in your life. Do you notice him? A lot of people don't acknowledge and recognize the things that God does for them personally or for their family members. But he does so much for each and every one of us. And if you look inside of your life on all the times you have got some extra divine help that you know for certain that that didn't come from no outside source. And it damn sure wasn't you. Every single time he saved your life, every single time that he let favor go in your way. Every time he he shielded you from that storm that was supposed to be disastering in your life, he shielded you from all of those many things and you still don't want to believe him. Your God is a jealous God. He I can't compare his jealousy to any other being in the face of this earth because he is more greater than all of those things and beyond. So you can't really imagine, imagine his race. The closest that you can get to it is a father and a child turning their backs on them. The Holy Spirit taught me over the weekend that he likes he likes you to purify. You know, your brother, I tell you, before you read your Bible, I want you to pray over that. You know what I'm saying? Be, don't even don't even get into that word if you ain't prayed first. You know what I'm saying? Don't be messing with powers. You know what I'm saying? You messing with powers and principalities. You always hear about the powers and principalities that's knocking you down. But what about the powers and principalities that lift you up? You know what I'm saying? Don't be playing when you go over there to that Bible. You know what I'm saying? I your brother. I suggest you pray because I pray. I pray that God, hey, he leads me, that he teaches me, that he be with me, you know, that he makes things that I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like me picking up that Bible, I won't be able to understand everything. Yeah, right, family. Yeah, right, family. Your brother is not going to be able to. And I've been studying for a long time and I'm not claiming to know everything, family, but it's some things that he's supposed to teach you, family. You know what I'm saying? You can't get that. What you, how else is you going to get that unless you go through your father for the knowledge, for the Holy Spirit? Teaches, preaches, ministers, consoles. Man, he got so many jobs, family. You know what I'm saying? He got so many jobs, family. Illuminate this whole world of what truth and what evil is. Family, I told you last week, if the Holy Spirit wasn't doing his job, all the evil you see would be everything that everybody does. It wouldn't be nobody trying to do no good. It would be nothing but evilness down here on this earth if he wasn't doing his job. Oh, family, I forgot where I left my my paper. So this week, this week, we we got to practice to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. Peace and blessings be upon you and your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace and blessings be to your husbands, your wives. Peace and blessings be to your children. Peace and blessings be to you coming or going. 
peace and blessings be before your home in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. For my brothers and sisters who call him, call upon the Lord as Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name. For the Lord understands, family. Some people will say, oh, you trying to break up everything. You trying to break up structure. But what about, what, what about, um... You loving on God. What about that? You know what I'm saying? Let's worry about that. Now, let's let's go back to what I said about the Bible family. I want you to drink some water. I want you to purify yourself from what God is saying. You know what I'm saying? God likes to be, he wants something pure in you before the, the Holy Spirit start ministering and teaching and the things that he's going to do. So he likes something pure inside of you when you get into his scriptures. That's what he taught me this weekend, family. Let me take, let me take some of my water, family. Hold on. I'm still here. I just need to get some of this water because I got my lemonade and I got my water. They hot. Okay, the lemonade is room temperature. I better drink that first. No, I want this water. I'm thirsty. I don't understand, family. Why they don't make a bottle cap? They go all the way over the bottle so my finger don't end up in it every single time. Okay, now what was we talking about? Oh, family, family, family. We got to be on our repentance this week. Family, we got to be on it. You know what I'm saying? We got to be on it. Well, okay, today, where was I messing up? I was on myself. I was whooping whooping myself all down the street. Get it right. What you doing, Jehoshua? What you doing? Ah, 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 speak, speak. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Speak, say, open the door. Open it. Oh, oh, open the door. How are you doing today? I was whooping myself down the street, family, tearing myself up. Get your butt up. Ah, ah, oh, oh. Why you got to hit me? Because I'm, I'm whooping myself so right now, family. So, so Jesus, he don't got to come tune me up. And God, he ain't got to come over here and do nothing to me, family. He does not, family. I was thinking this weekend, family, I was thinking, I was all like, what, do I got anything? Because you know that devil, he, he 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 doesn't stop, family. He's relentless, family. You know what I'm saying? He just keeps on going, keeps on going. Keeps on. You you think he'll get tired of playing the same game. He never gets tired, family. You think he'll get tired. No, he doesn't, family. He'll be doing the same thing over and over. You'll be like, man, you lame. You, you hella lame. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Father. You... But they lame because they're doing the same thing and people don't that they don't see it. They just don't see it. So this whole weekend, I, I was on myself. But this week we gotta practice repent. Um, we gotta repent, family. How about us not doing none of these things and we ain't gotta worry about none of the repentance? Because I told you I was on myself today, family, like night and day trying to get right. Am I perfect? Heck no, family. Heck no, your brother was still slipping, but I was trying, family. I was trying so very hard, family. Trying so very hard to please my father. Like, father, look. You see me down here? You see all this hatred that they talking about? All oh, this is directed towards me, and I didn't even do nothing. God, I didn't even do nothing. But I was already up on your father early in the morning time. Father, please. Please don't let none of they evil and they evil be up and sticking on me and have me. I was already on praying about that since I shoot it myself because I already prayed for it. God gives you the power when you pray over it. You know what I'm saying? You already thinking, family. Start your day and pray. Okay, bam. Even though all of this stuff and these people is talking all of this smack or whatever, whatever the situation is. I didn't do none of that. I wasn't even wrong. So I, I'm still on myself all today. Was I perfect? No, family. No, family. Always, it's always room to improve for your father. Have I kept father on my mind all day? It's the only reason why I got through the day, family. Hi. Huh? That through the day, family. That's only eight hours, but I'm pretty sure he was on my mind before that. You know what I'm saying? So your father, he's constantly and and your father was back to scaring me again today, family. He was back. Your father, your God, he was back to scare. Make me, make me, make an oath. Make some more. He's still, he, family, family, family. He's still up over here on these. Make me, oh, make an oath right now, Jehosa. Make me an oath. I don't care. Make it right now to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting up over here, family. I'm like, okay, father. All right, father. No, I'm not going to be scared. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, I'm not going to be scared. I'm not going to be scared like last time. Oh, I can't make this oath to God. He calling me out and I can't do it. <laughs> family, it's whatever he says, family. Whatever he want me to do, family. That's all I can look at. That's all I can look. But is it scary? Yes, it is, family. When God calls you out to make these oaths, where are my real brothers at? What is our oath? Because for we have a bind. For our heart belongs to our father only. 
We can give some pieces to some people. But our heart belongs to our father. He comes first. Hallelujah. Amen. And we go, where are my sisters at? Where are my brothers and sisters? Where are our oath at? We go love our people. If you rocking with your host of fat, that's your, that's your oath. You made, you swore before your God with your brother that you going to love your people and that you going to love your God with all your heart. I know family, God know you got to give them some love too, but 90% of that heart better be his. Hallelujah. Family in Yeshua, precious name. Hallelujah in Yeshua's name, family. So yeah, he, your father, he been scaring me. I've been scared like a mug all day, but I manned up on him. I'm apps, whatever it is. And you know, your father, he gets, he gets real, he gets real, I don't want to say um, precise, but he gets real particular on all the different venues of what he is saying happened in a sense as uh, a scenario. And you still have to be truthful to what whatever you said to God. But I cannot come up short, family, like I did last time with him. Now, these O's. That's a lot. I got to carry these oaths to the day I die, family. That's the only way I'm going to be able to please him. But check this up. You get one up. You you ask your father to remind you of the oaths. Like, watch this, watch this. Father, please remind me constantly of the oaths that I made before you, that you have put before me, and the oaths that I, I said that I would do for you in Yeshua, precious name, most high God, our father. That's all you got to say, father. He was getting on me. He was getting on me. He was getting on me last week. It was last week. He was like, man, you in the house. You don't have to put all that title. Just call me father. <laughs> okay, when you when you're talking about me in front of people, okay, that's understandable. You respect me and you love me. You respect me and you love me. But when you be home with me, you just call me father. You ain't got and I still be slipping, family. Most high God, I'll be still in the house, family. In the house, family. In the house, family. So back to this repentance, family, as long as we ain't doing those things, if we stay away from them things, if we don't bring them things around us and we shame them, we shame them because you got to shame them too. You got to wake up shaming them things, family, them bad things. You got to wake up shaming them. Whatever that you need repentance of, you have to shame it, family. Be ashamed. Shame it. Think about it. shame it. Some people would say, oh, well, you 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 you're practicing um commendation no it's not commendation 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 they would say that they would say something like that and i know I'm, i slurred on the word because i can't say it right but you know what i'm talking about no family i just want you to be thinking about your sin i don't want you giving in to your sin i don't want you doing any sin family i'm not doing no sin like that i feel sorry for the littlest things that i do i don't know why the, the heart if people say that they believe in the messiah then your heart should, should be compelled like mine. You should feel the same way I do. And you don't. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't. So they be lying to me, family. They be lying to me. And I be checking people. So uh, we supposed to be fighting down here, family. We supposed to be on the grind fighting for this, family. So back to this repentance. Okay. If we're not doing nothing, we ain't got to. If we can keep that down to a minimum, we good. Okay. Being humble this week. I'm practicing being humble, family. I am family. I started the show with telling you I'm going to be humble. I'm going to try to help these people as much as I can. I'm not going to be down myself for things that I won't be able to do. Once more again, I can't say it's the whole week long for each day has its worries of its own. So we're going to knock this giant down one day at a time. Hallelujah for the Lord is with us. And I'm going to learn every single lesson in the name of Yahshua that he puts before me to learn. And I'm going to have to memorize some of these lessons, family. I really am. I'm just going to have to memorize the lesson itself of whatever, whatever it is that he teaches me this week. It's, it's something every day, family. It's at least like three things every day that he should be sitting there. Let me let me pause it so I can get a drink of water. Hold on, family. OK, he's back now. So practicing being humble. OK, to my best ability. Got to remember you a person. But we got to try a little bit harder, family. And this week, especially for our people, we as black people got to express as much love as we possibly can to our people every single day and everything that is ratchet, foul and that is evil in this world. We need to separate ourselves from that and our day to day life, the way we treat our own people, the way we deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? The way we deal with each other. I don't I don't know why my people don't understand that if you treated yourselves better. If we all treated each other's good, like your brother been telling you for how long now? 
Family, 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 family. If we all loved each other, people would not mess with us like that. And they would have respect for us because we have respect for ourselves. Right now, they see us. We ain't got no respect for ourselves. And we're united. We're not united, family. We ain't got no respect for ourselves. We don't love our people. We don't. So they figure why we have to. You know what I'm saying? That's why they figure they, if, we, if, we loved it, if we loved each other, they'd be scared of that. You know what I'm saying? They'd be terrified of that. Oh, my God. All the Negroes are together. You seen the black people? They marching and they don't even, we, they didn't even say that. That's just every day for them now. They march every day. You know what I'm saying? You mess with one of them, you mess with all of them. You know what I'm saying? So one day you will wake up and understand that you need all of your people. You know what I'm saying? Especially with being here in America. Y'all should already know that by now. You know what I'm saying? But you see with this generation that we have, kill destruction. Kill your brother. Kill him. Oh, kill him. Oh, get him. Oh, got one of them all oh, to the ground. Oh, no. Oh, step on him. Step on him. Spit on him. They ain't about nothing. Oh, they ain't about shit. Yeah, I said it. He ain't, he ain't about nothing. Oh, she ain't about shit. And he and them too. No, you ain't got them never working with them damn people. I love it. I love it. I love to see y'all just tear each other apart. It's nice. Whoa, y'all doing all the damn work for me. I'm just, oh. Now, with the, and it's, it's all through what we do, family. It, it is. It, it's all. Some people can be mad at me for the way I labeled it, but look at us in our own communities, family. You know what I'm saying? Look at us and how we treat our people. We too worried about hurting our own people. What they doing? You know what I'm saying? Where's this love at? What, 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 you listening to this message. What's stopping you from loving your damn people? You know what I'm saying? What's stopping you and all of your people loving each other? That's all it takes. But they're too worried about murdering themselves. But we're going to get into that today because, you know, I'm with your father. And I talk with him all day. I be with him all day. He, no, 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 no. I'm blessed because he be with me all day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now... And it's a lot, family. It's a lot. So, okay, let's 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 run it back. We're gonna be practicing love this week. We're gonna be practicing peace this week. We're gonna be practicing letting things go. We're gonna yeah, I said it, letting things go. Let let it go. Let that stuff go. You know what I'm saying? Just walk away. <laughs> I can't wait this week for somebody to be talking some garbage and I just walk away from them. <laughs> I can't wait, family. I can't. They be all, they be all festered up. They be all mad. I, I listen to it and then I just, I rebuke them and walk away, family. Like it didn't even bother to me. That's what they don't want to see out of you, family. Not letting it get to you. They don't want to see. They want to see it get to you. Want to see it get to you, family. See all down and y'all with that whip, family. With this. Pain, family. Oh, he want to be all up. I want you just all oh, to take it, take it, take this. Let me get on. Let me. I'm, I'm already in your head, Mr. But let me do something. Now, look, you got you tripping. Now you looking crazy. Look, then go and take your crazy self down the street. You are gonna be crazy at home, crazy in the jail, and crazy at. See, is you gonna let him get at you like that this week? You gotta be thinking. You gotta be thinking. He really wants to. He wants to burn your blood up. I'm Father, right now this week, let me and my brothers and sisters to be able to walk away, to be able to walk in love, to be able to examine each and every one of these situations and to be able to determine what the most holiest, righteous thing before your eyes to do and then do those things in Yahshua HaMashiach's name. Most high God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You've been blessed. Now bless me. Thank you. You're my family. Hallelujah. Now, okay, now we're practicing love. Peace. I say, I said love and peace, and some people would be like, ah, oh, you can't even be in that weak stuff. Why you telling me to be weak? Why you, why, why I gotta put you, you tell me to be weak? Hey, 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 hey. Is you out here trying to be a damn demon? Is you out, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is you out here acting like a damn demon? Then watch who you talking to. Now, we're gonna practice, we're gonna practice love, we're gonna practice peace, we're gonna practice. Being humble, humble before people. I know that's not your grandma. I know it ain't. But you better treat that woman like she your grandma. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to express some love throughout this one. Express your love and show these people that you love God. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know it gets hard on you every day. I'm not. Try your best, family. If you get three times this week, but you're doing good, we're starting somewhere. We starting somewhere. Hallelujah. We, brother, brother, sister, brother, we starting somewhere. 
I didn't come from the I didn't come for these uppity people who think they know everything. Family, I did not come for them people. I did not come for them. I came from you. You. Cause we gonna be family. We gonna get right. We gonna stay in heaven. And Yahshua press his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're gonna get right before his eyes. And we're gonna strengthen each other. I wish that I can answer some of these comments. So family, family, let's go ahead. You are now with your brother Jehoshaphat, and we are in the sanctuary. All glory given to the Most High Yah, for he is worthy and he, he alone, for he is the creator of the heavens and earth. For he has all mercy, all power, all strength, all knowledge, all wisdom. He has, he has a merciful heart, but he is a vengeful God. And he loves to make people pay and suffer. So love you, Father. So family, for today's show... Can I put claim? I, I, I can't put no claims in it because you know I'm working with your father, so I can't put no claims on the work. But we're gonna go through all these many different lessons, family, and somewhere in here I'm going to build up your your faith and your structure, your your belief, your love, and your understanding of your father, and I'm going to illuminate your mind to some truths that maybe I needed to I needed to confirm this to you for you to understand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. For your father, he speaks. For he is all around you. Tell him how much you love him. Father, we love you. We love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, now, family, let's go ahead and get in this. It really doesn't matter where I start. Okay, now, it's 20 minutes up into this video, so I suggest you hang back with your brother. Because this might push over. Okay, God has let the evil grow in power among our people as a test. A test to see if our people will fight for what among for what is right amongst our people. He wants to see how bad we want to fight for our people. God has tested us as a people all through our history to see how bad and, and what we would would do to fight to teach to love our people. So to me, as I look at my people, I look at us no differently in our past, family. No differently. God tests all, all of us. All Our whole race of people is being tested by God right now on all these different various things that some of them, we're okay. But a lot of them, we're messed up, family. We told back, family. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, we okay, family. We, we actually is. But it's... The ones that really mean something, we are towed back up over there, family. We are all the way towed back up over there, family. Sorry. So God, he, he tests us as a as a straight up group, family. Okay, he going to test me individually in my life. He will. The most high God, he tests me individually. But he tests us as a group because we are his chosen. Look at your people, family. As I look at us, I don't I don't see us no differently than however we have ever been in history. We've been in history. And, and you know, your brother, I tell you fast in a hurry, family. When we got a good leader, we doing good. When we as soon as we don't have that good leader, we turn to doing evil. Every single time, family. And a little bit of time, God will raise up great men and great women that will be great amongst us that will wise raise our people up. But after they after they come in long, they come and they go. The next forty years is just gonna be back to us doing evil again if we all don't change before the before the eyes of God. We got a we got a cycle, family. You know what I'm saying? We got a cycle of disrespecting God. We got a, a cycle of tearing it up. Uh, let me ask you this question: Why do you think we in America for so long? I tell you, fast in a hurry. Your God don't ever want you to forget you leaving the land of Canaan this time. You know what I'm saying? You left Canaan, okay? He he sent you out on on slave ships and get out of get out of here get out of here this time get on that get on a boat I'm sending y'all far I'm sending you so dang far you ain't even gonna know where you came from you know what I'm saying you gonna forget everything about me go on over there and serve your little false idols and your false guys and your false pretense go on go on go on over there okay he did that he did that to us family every single time we disrespected him but he sent us up over here because he don't want us to forget what we have done when we left the land of canaan he don't never want us to believe he don't ever ever want us to forget what we did family and we still don't act like it because a lot of our people are not given the truth a lot of our people will die in a lie about themselves that they were lied to. And this, it's a damn shame, family. It is a damn shame. But that's all right. Because your father lifts up great men and great women to judge our people. 
it, they can't stop that. You know what I'm saying? Our government cannot stop that. You know what I'm saying? They cannot. You know what I'm saying? Every single time. So I'm just rating it for it to roll over on the time to where we get a great leader that's going to pull all our people together. Can't nobody stop that. They can kill him. You've seen what they did to Malcolm. You've seen what they did to Martin. And that's a that's a judge. The only judge we got right now and nobody is trying to listen to him is Louis Farrakhan. He the only judge we got and only half of our people listen to him. People like me and your brothers and sisters, I'm not even no Muslim, but I, I understand that God has put him up as a judge above my people, just like he put in the Bible. But people don't like to acknowledge these things as the truth of things that's actually happening to them as a people. Yo, people love to forget. That's why we always getting that's why we always getting whooped. You know what I'm saying? We love to forget and we bad, family. We are bad. We are the baddest people on the face of this earth. And you might be thinking, you might be thinking, well, how is we the holy people? But when we stop being guilty, we turn to all our evil ways all over again family how long have we been celebrating evil around here in this country we call as the united states of america how long about 30 almost 40 years family so this time for the it has to roll out family it has to it's gonna reach a bad point for us you know what i'm saying it's gonna it get super bad with how evil we are family i mean super bad you know what i'm saying it's 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 gonna intensify that it's gonna be a breaking point to where something has to change with us and i'm sorry to say it either god gonna push that fate or god gonna push that hand or we are you know what i'm saying or the devil himself the government you know what i'm saying we can't get out of that look at what we're doing to ourselves family you know what i'm saying so to me, it ain't it. It ain't no different. It just ain't no different than any time we've been in some captivity with some king, with some people. God is always God will be forever picking somebody to whoop us down when we don't act right. He don't ever want you to forget your time here in in America. Now I, I'm gonna make it to to Canaan with my people. Your father has promised to do so much to, to African-American, so-called African-American people. I don't understand why y'all don't wake up. You know what I'm saying? But now it's, it's getting bad. It's, it's getting real bad. And y'all don't y'all still don't see it. OK, let's let's get back into this family. So what was said, family, as a people, as as though all through our history to see how bad and what we will do to fight, teach, love our people. So it's just one of those times like to me right now see all the murder all the chaos all the confusion all the havoc all the all the pain all those things you see them family through amongst our people but they don't understand that we want people they just don't understand that okay now moving to the next one when your people don't have a common enemy they turn and kill each other family look look at look at your people family look at your people family i hate to tell you things like this but it is the truth Look at your people. When our people, l l let's rewind back, and I want you to think about all the gangs and all the different factions and all the different people. Our people. You call yourself African Americans? Oh, that's disrespectful. You're going to put that African in there. So called black people of America. How about that? Call yourselves that. So called black people of America. You know what I'm saying? Call yourself that. You know what I'm saying? Because you. Your government been lying to you, family, since day one. But let's go back. Okay, now, family, now look at all. The, the criminal, okay, part. And just look at our people overall. When your people don't have a common enemy, they turn and kill each other. Now, it's not the fact that we don't have a common enemy. It's the fact that we don't want to work to, with each other. But your people is known for doing this. You know what I'm saying? Are they scared? Are they scared to fight their common enemy? For we all have one enemy. You know what I'm saying? We all have one. Are they are they are these scared black people who don't want to let's go back up to the top because I'm making people mad now. I feel your anger now. Why you why you mad at me for the truth right here? You know what I'm saying? Why you getting mad at me for how your people act and what your people be doing to each other? You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't tell them to do this throughout the courses of history. You know what I'm saying? This is how our people is, family. Wake up. No, no, let's go back. When your people don't have a common enemy, they turn and kill each other. Look, or first they start off playing like, you know what I'm saying? First they start off playing, oh, we just playing. Oh, they ended up, they, they all was dead. And then we actually go to war with each other, family. We actually go to battle. That's where we are now, family. We going to war with each other. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no common, or we have a common. Y'all just are scared. Y'all don't want to fight. Okay, okay, y'all don't want to fight, but then y'all mad at me for saying it. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a common enemy. Look at how your people is. 
Okay, now, when your people don't have a common enemy, they turn and kill each other. Look at your people. Is that is that not how we are? Look at your your gangs. What they what they I'm sorry, do they not kill their own? I'm sorry, what did this say right here? Their own. And this is what is chosen, the things we do as is chosen people. So I, I cannot picture a time where we did not do things like this, family, for we are as chosen people. We got numbers throughout all of America, family, where the numbers is up. But they don't want to stand for their people. They don't want to. What, what did your brother tell you about you standing for your people? Why they don't like my message so much? You know what I'm saying? Since it's so powerful and they don't want to hear, oh, they want to hear the love your people stand for yourself. I don't want to, I want to just kill these niggas. I just want to act like a stupid. But I got to be wrong for saying it. Then I got to be wrong for not wanting to be that way. Nah, nah, nah. Let's play no games. We got to be righteous men before our father's eyes, family. We must all be. Okay, we all know when it's Now, we all know when it's time to speak, God will put the words in your mouth. But when it's time to go to war, God possesses people when it's time to go to war. God takes over the 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 only thing we can do is watch and wonder why God destroyed our enemy. So now we OK. Last week we talked about the devil putting possessing a person. We talked about that on the show last week. OK, this will be the same exact thing to you because you believe in God. When it's time to fight. Your father will possess you and go to war. You know what I'm saying? God possesses people. He does, family. He possesses people. But when he possesses somebody, it's time to go to war. You know what I'm saying? He ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? He ready to do a whole lot, family. You know what I'm saying? So God, he possesses people and then they go to war. Family, they fight. You know what I'm saying? So if God possesses you, it's war time and it's time to go to war. Now, we talked last week about the devil possessing people. Now, this is the same thing. God possesses different people to go to war. To fight, you know what I'm saying? To go into battle and fight and and kill a lot of different people, family. I'm sorry. He does, you know what I'm saying? He does, you know what I'm saying? Now, if he did this back in the day to different, different people, why would he not do these do this to this day? He would, wouldn't he, family? He would possess people to go into war, huh? He would, huh? Anytime his he gets stirred up and he mad over something that's happening in the world, he would he would possess somebody. He would possess a righteous man, and that man would go into war, huh? That righteous man would go into war for God. Now, I told you, family, now, if God possesses you to go into war, you really can't do anything. All you would just sit back and just wonder, why is God doing this to me? Why is God using my body to go over here and do that? You know what I'm saying? Why is God using my body? You couldn't really do anything, family. So that's why God possesses that. That's why he possesses some people body. OK, now possesses people when it's time to go to war. God takes over. The only thing we can do is 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 watch and wonder why God destroys our enemies. OK, God wants you to have compassion on your neighbor. So this week, stand with with your brother and and let's practice love, love your neighbor as you as you as you love yourself hallelujah hallelujah come on family get up with your brother we're gonna practice I, I i know some of them are mean i know some of them are crooked i know some of them are not on a righteous path on you but let's practice this week with your brother i need you you need me we together we a family let's practice love our neighbors together hallelujah and yashua precious name hallelujah hallelujah now god wants you to god wants you he wants you good to people for he he is not a respecter of men or women, black or white. Anyone can be your neighbor. Are you are you willing to show the love, the tolerance, the patience and to help help for others who need your help? 
So I, I really mean that. Family, you know what I'm saying, this week, you know what I'm saying? Our father is not a respecter of no man or no woman. You know what I'm saying? That's why that's why a lot of different racist people and people who, who have they, they racist against black people, they don't understand what I'm saying to them because our God is not racist. You know what I'm saying? He's not a respecter of nobody. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been listening to them people. And they told you a whole lot of stuff about hate. God hates those who hate him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has the chance to be righteous before God's eyes. I don't care where they come, heathen or not. You know what I'm saying? Is they going to act right? So God wants you loving people. God wants, but we already went through all of this, family. You know what I'm saying? We, we really did. Our father is not a respecter of any man, woman, black, white. I don't care who you are. Show some tolerance and patience and some love to these people, family. Be humble. You know what I'm saying? Humble yourself so your father, he's, so he can be humble before you. You know what your brother had to say. Now, let's keep it going. You don't serve God. You're not serving God is no different from your ancestors serving other gods. So look at that, family. You not serving God is no different than your, your ancestors serving other gods to God. Just because you feel, oh, I don't have to give him a bed. I don't want to have to go and try to learn my God. Try to, try to learn my Jesus. Try to act right. Try to learn. Try to learn what God is asking for me. I got to learn my... That's no different than your ancestors sitting up there worshiping in Tabel and Ur and Astros and Apelios. All them different deities, family. That's no different, family. Family, 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 family. That's no different than... Your your ancestors sitting up over there taking their sons and their daughters and, and sacrificing them to Baal. That's no different than you. You sitting up there. You. You. I don't have to go. I don't have to tell him. I don't want to listen to my brother when he tell me about God. I don't want to hear my sister. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear that. I don't, don't got to act like this all about me. By you doing that, you are no different than your ancestors serving a false God. No different to God. He looking at you just like you serving a God. He he looking at you just like he was looking at them family before he told them up. Now, he love you, but he will wear you out, family. He will wear you down, family. He will tear you up, family. He will rip you into pieces, family, if he lets you be more. I don't even think he'll let you be more. Be messing with your God like that. About to get in trouble, family. So you not serving God is no different from your answers to serving other gods by you loving your life for you for yourself and not letting god in in you provoke god's jealousy for he is a jealous god so just by you not letting god into your life you provoke his wrath he's jealous you know what i'm saying he's je i mean he's super jealous family you know what i'm saying you can't compare his jealousy to nothing else on the face of this earth there's nothing you can compare his jealousy to he's that damn jealous family you be all like, oh well, I can, I can, I can appear. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Let me catch. No, brother. No, brother. No, not even that. You, you know the crazy psycho dude that be stalking his girlfriend, making sure he be all up on her. He be all be behind the bushes. He be all on her cell phone. He be all in her car. It's where she got tracking devices all up on her. He show up places that she, she don't even know he there. He's sitting over there watching her and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yo, God is a very jealous God. You don't want to provoke his jealousy, family. Listen to your brother. You know what I'm saying? Listen to your brother. I'm telling you. Now, listen, listen, listen. God is so jealous that there is no, nowhere, nobody that you can compare it to. You can't compare his jealousy to that pimp looking for his, his girl. Mad for that money. You cannot compare him to no other jealousy. Who are you going to compare him to? The, the psycho crazy baby daddy? No, you can't compare him to that. Mm -mm. The government that wants to take away all your freedom? Mm, no, can't even take him. That, that's woof, That's a trap, family. That's a trap. The government got me trapped. Hell! <laughs> you know how bad the government wants your freedom away. And even more than that, a third world country, you get paid 35 cents a day. They watching you even more jealous than that. You can't compare his jealousy to no, nothing on this earth, family. For it is way more than that. You don't want to provoke his jealous wrath, family. And you get that just by you. Uh, 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 I ain't got to serve God. Uh, I ain't got to do that. I can do whatever I want. I, I, I can do whatever I want. They said, they said that I can put on a dress. With some lipstick and a, and a damn skirt and, and a damn wig. I can do all of that. Yeah, God ain't going to kick me down. 
Then you see our brothers and sisters, and that's why God be kicking them down. And but uh, but Jehoshaphat is wrong for telling you the truth. Jehoshaphat is wrong for telling my brothers and sisters to come out the darkness. Come out that damn darkness. What could hiding in that damn darkness? Come get him. Come over here and be chilling in the light. Hallelujah. Come over here in the light. You wrong. You wrong. We want to be like our darkness. We like our sin. We like our perversions. We like our confusion. We like our abomination. Please, Jehoshaphat, don't take my abomination, brother. Close the door. God, close the cuff. The light close the door. I'm to the height of the day of bed. I want my darkness in my sin. Come out the damn darkness. You can live your life. You know what I'm saying? You can live your life for God. For this life right here is fleeting. It is fleeing, and all these different pleasures in this world is very satisfy. It's very satisfying to this flesh, but it is fleeing. And every day that goes by goes closer into your eternity, into a place that you will spend your forever's, ever's, ever's. Now, that devil, he got you tricked. He he taught you the forever's don't don't to you. He taught you the forever's don't exist. Are you willing to take that chance? You already will die and have to go there. You know what I'm saying? He, he, okay, he, did, he did, did he care about you? You know what I'm saying? He said, you're going to die. That's all he got for you. I'm the devil. I'm the devil. Oh, 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 you just going to die. Oh, you, you just going to, ain't, ain't nothing going to happen. You just going to die. That's what the devil told you. You know what I'm saying? He lied to you. A lot of people believe that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to die. But you sure going, you picking your eternity right now. You know what I'm saying? As we speak, family, you, you picking it. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to go to the left? Am I going to go to the right? If I go to the left, if I'm going to burn, I'm going to be in bliss. You know what I'm saying? If I got to go to that pain, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be flying like with the angels. Fam. Just flying with the angels. Fam. Am I going to be suffering, family, down there? Suffering, family, down to the floor. Just suffering, family. Or I'm going to be in the angelic bliss. In the angelic bliss. Which way you going to do, family? Yo, brother, I'm not playing with these people. They, they, they stupid, family. They done tricked you. They done tricked you. You really think you ain't got to worry about this? <laughs> they, you, you, you would think I'm crazy. And I'm telling you, I already know I got to die. But damn, I'm sure ain't trying to go to hell. <laughs> oh, Jehovah, I don't want to hear about it. Well, grow up. Shit, you going to have to grow up. Shit, you can't, you can't stay on that same... St I said it. I'm Father, I, you know I'm sorry, Father. But I meant it, Father. Please excuse me for the language, Father. Father. All right. But I still meant it, family. I still, you're going to have to grow up. You can't, I don't want to thank God. I don't want to have to. But damn, that's going to get you what, walking over there with them pit, with them people going down to hell. You're going to have to grow yourself up. You're going to have to get sanctified up over here. You're going to have to get some righteous to be with your father. You're going to have to grow up. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody grow up for you. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, I, I can't, I can give you all the good things in forever, forever. But you're going to have to seek into it. You know what? I'm going to do what my brother Jehoshaphat told him. I'm going to grow the hell up. I'm going to put my big boy, my pants on. I'm going I'm to wear a dress and be ladylike for, for my father all the time. You know what I'm saying? For the ladies and the men to put on the pants and be a big man in God's eyes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to grow up. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what them people told you. Your time is ticking. God, what did your brother tell you like last week? People up here weren't waiting for the sun, all these revelations at the end of the... Nah, nah, nah. God is judging people right now, family. You ain't got to wait for the forevers. That's going to be sooner than you think. You know what I'm saying? Your life will flash by so fast, you will be in the forevers. Like, man, what happened? What happened? Jehoshaphat wasn't playing. That was 70 years right there. Right in the forevers. You know what I'm saying? But God is judging. People don't understand. God is judging people right now. He's judging people right now, family. Look, look, okay, look at your life and how many people that you can honestly say that's not here that you know. God is judging people right here and now. He is, family. You ain't got to wait for the forevers to be judged by God. You don't have to, family. Okay, now I only got my lemonade left. Okay, snap. We finished the whole page, family. He actually made it off of it, family. Peace and blessings be to your home, your houses. All my loved ones out there, all my families for you. My family bless you in Yeshua, precious name, for you are spending this time with me. And I thank you for it. So peace be unto you in Yeshua, precious name, for he is our Lord, Master, and Savior. Now let's um let's 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 get glory. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to pick up this ball up over here. Now I slipped on the S word. 
I did. That's the only way I slipped through this whole message. Been running almost an hour. And I know we good, but I couldn't, Father, I couldn't find nothing else to say to, to feel the sentiment of how I felt about it. Okay, now let's keep going, family. Now, God wants to forgive, forgive you for the things we do, but some people will never profess themselves their guilt before God because they don't know how to stop lying to themselves to to know it is the truth in their eyes and a lie in God's eyes. So I, okay, let's go back. God, it is true though, family, for real. This is why. Okay, God calls us. Okay, now let's go back. Professes themselves their guilt before God because they don't know how to stop lying to themselves to to know it is the truth in their eyes and a lie in God's eyes. So some people can never ask for forgiveness for sins, family. They can never, they would never ask God to forgive them for their sins, family. Never. It's sad. Why? Why? Why are you why why they would never ask for forgiveness? It's so easy. All we gotta ask God for forgiveness and stop doing it. We was on that. Repentance, repentance, turning from them. But but check it though, family. They lie so good that. Their lies is all the truth, family. All them damn lies that they done said, they actually believe all of that, family. They could go up to God lying to him in their face and they would never even know that they lied to God right there in their face because they thought they told God the truth. But to God, it is a lie. Does that make any sense, family? They lie so damn much and so well, so much to themselves to where they would go up to God, tell them a lie and don't even know that they said that to God. Because they've been lying and practicing lies so much to where their lies are the truth now. But in the eyes of God, it is a lie. Okay, let's move on, family. God wants, please don't be one of them people, family, practicing all them lies and stuff, family. I, I said a lie. Was it a lie? Probably like three. It was a little white lie. It was like three weeks ago over something stupid. Somebody asked me something. And I said something stupid. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm finna be doing this, but I wasn't doing that. I know it's a little lie, but it still hurt, family. It's still, they'd be like, Jeho, so really? It still hurt because I knew I did. It weighed heavy on my conscience, family. You got to have your sin weighing heavy on your conscience. It happened all that time. Still, I ain't did it since then. It wasn't even a little while. I ain't have not done it. I've been watching myself. And you got to imagine, people like to project their stuff out on you. They want you to claim something, family. You you got these people in this world and they would like, they would throw something out there and want you to claim it. Claim it. You know what I'm saying? Hope you be talking to them and hopefully they can trap you up in your words and they'll say something bad on you and you will claim it. So watch these people, family, for they're throwing out evil up on you and you don't even see it. You know what I'm saying? Don't claim that stuff. I rebuke all of that stuff off of you in the name of Yahshua right now. You know what I'm saying? Off of all my brothers and sisters in the world right now. I rebuke off, off, the, off right now. You know what I'm saying? All of that off you right now. Please think be thinking about that tomorrow for I will. Okay, now God wants us to fight for his holy people. His children. God wants us to fight for ourselves, family. He He really wants you to fight for your people. Do you know your people is God's holy people? It's like it's like all of the world they supposed to be fighting for us, but you especially. God wants you to fight for your people, family. He wants you to turn from all your ratchetity of your ways of you feeling like you ain't you ain't gotta do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking if you're not being this type of person, I'm not talking to you. But for my other brothers who get this message and, and think it's all about them and they ain't gotta change. And they they can just be ratchet and foul and all and all a jacked up of a, a man and they ain't got to change their lives. I'm telling them they got to change for their people. You know what I'm saying? You got to be with your people and change your life to help your people. It's on each and every one of us, family. Each and every last one of us, family. It's just not on one of us or a couple of us. It's on all of us, family. Okay, now where do we end at? Okay, lot, lots of people lose because they want to do things their way and don't want to do it the way God told them. That's why lots of people fail in life and don't prevail because we as people want to do it our way and not the way he told us how. Now, now see... I, I used to be messed up on that one, family. I always be messing up, family. I'm not like that no more, family. God, he be telling me he wanted... God, he give you the perfect way to do it, family. And if you go outside of his perfection, you mess up and you lose everything. You, everything is messed up after that, family. You can't, you can't resurrect his perfectness. And sometimes he'll give you a perfect plan to where you think it won't work, family. You can't step out on your own self. Your brother, I, I learned that I felt every single time when I tried to do it my way and do it the way my plan. Uh-uh. 
God gave me a plan on how he wanted me to do it. I didn't want to follow that. God told me exactly how he wanted me to do it. Okay, Jehosa, um, step A, you got it? Oh, I heard that, Father. Ooh, ooh. Step B, Jehosa. For real, I got to do that. Step C, Jehosa. God, I don't even know about that. I don't even know. If that, that don't even, Lord, that don't sound good. You either going to do it or you don't, Jehosa. That's on you. See it. So we choose, family. We choose. We either going to do it the way that God told us. If we do it his way, we 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 win. We prevail. We win, family. We win. You know what I'm saying? We win. But if we step out on all the way that we, uh, oh, oh, I don't want to do it that way. Oh, I'm, I, I can't do it that way. We lose, family. And all its entireties of all the endeavor, we just blew everything up when we step out. So I learned, family. It, yeah, it, it took me a long time. Yeah, it took me more than five years to figure it out with how many times I had to crash and burn. And you'd be like, and you'd be like, You'd be like, dang, Jehosa, it took you five years to learn that. It, it did, because I didn't understand. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and play with you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand. I wanted to do things my way. You know what I'm saying? My way. I, I understand. I'm, I am I belong to God. I got to do it his way. I don't need to do this. I don't, this is not myself. It, it's, it's God's property. You know what I'm saying? I don't own it. I can try to put some leaves on it, but I better be doing I'm his child. I got to do it his way or it won't work. So that's why people be losing, family. Like, I want to do it my way. I want to do it my way. Sister, you doing it your way. You going to crash, girl. Uh, uh, what you say, Jehosa? Sister, you doing it your way. You going to crash, girl. I, I don't care what you talking about. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do it. Oh, oh, Jehosa, he told me everybody. I told you. Didn't I tell you that? Jehosa, you told me I didn't want. I told you. Didn't I tell you? I didn't want to listen. I be telling y'all, y'all don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? Before you just go sticking your finger out there, before you go throwing your thumbs up at the damn highway. I told you that wasn't a good idea. I'm just going to do what I want to do. Jehosa told me. I, you been, I told you. You can't say your brother didn't love. I got love for you. I told you. Now check this out. Might not trust you, but I sure trust you. I, sh I might not trust you, but I sure told you. And your brother got love for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, family now. Some things in our life, God wants to see how bad we are willing to fight for it. So I, I really mean that, family. He really does. He wants to see how how you gonna fight. Is you is you gonna fight for that? How bad do you want it, sister? How bad do you? Jehosa, I wanna be, I wanna be a real, real bad. Well, you gonna have to fight, damn it! I'm over here. I'm fighting, sister, brother. Wake up! Wake up! Huh, huh, huh. Huh, huh. Oh, oh, I was hearing you, Jehosa. I'm, I want to fight for it. Nah, 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 brother. Where's the enthusiasm? Okay, but I'm going to fight for it. But what when it get hard? Because it's going to get hard. Uh, you going to still fight? Yeah, I'm going I'm to still fight, Jehosa. I'm still going to fight, brother. Then be with me and fight with your brother. I'm telling you, it's going to get hard, but we're going to have to fight. God wants to see how bad we want it. Hallelujah, your brother. I was telling you about that long suffering last week. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about that last week. You know what I'm saying? That long suffering. Your father wants to see how bad you want it. How bad do you need it? How bad do you want it, huh? How bad? Let me drink some of my lemonade. I'm sorry, father. How bad do you want it? I just I want it so bad, brother. You're going to have to fight, girl. Do you hear me, sister? I understand now, brother. I understand. I'm going to get up tomorrow and I'm going to be fighting. I'm going to be fighting. Long suffering. Hallelujah. Long suffering. Father, we actually made it off of one page, most high. <laughs> Father, we actually made it off of one page. We almost to the middle of the other one. So I got like, I'm not, you know, family, family, father, please let me be able to get through all this. This is a lot of safe, uh, father, family, family, family. If we don't be able to get through this, I don't know, family. Here go my haters. You make darn long videos. But you watch every one of them. Why you hating for it? You know, why? Because you can't make a long video. That's why you be sitting up over here hating. You make long video. Hey, hey, hey. You still watching the damn video? Enjoy the damn video and shut the hell up. I said that. Shut your ass up. <laughs> And man, that Jehosa, he be putting me in my place. We got me turn it. I got to turn it to you. Uh, why you gonna Why you gonna sit there and turn it then turn it back? Why you do that for? 
How silly is that? Why are you being silly right now? I'm not mad at you. I'm your brother. I'm not even mad at you. Yeah, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Sit down and listen. <laughs> Sit down. Look at the spirit you got in you. Love. 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 I'm going to turn that into a damn song tonight. For real. I'm going to turn it into a song. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> You are messing with your brother Jehoshaphat in the sanctuary. Blessed be every child of God. Hallelujah. Now, um, let's, let's get back into this, family. You see the power of God? Do you see it, family? Did you feel it? I, hope, I know you did. I know you felt that. Did you feel it? We ain't playing around here, family. Now, look, look, check this out, family. Check this out. And we did, family. We went through that last one. Look, look, look this, this was the last one. Lots of people lo lose because they want to do things. Oh, no, we, we did that. We done. Okay, some things in our life, God, okay, he does. He wants us to fight for it. So we must ask ourselves, how bad do we want it? Will we fight for it? Will we be patient? And will we fight for it with are all some of us are fighters is is to it, some of some of our fight is to trust and and be patient on the lord so I really mean that, family. People, people, they be losing, family. They be losing. They get described with. I'm trying to tell you, family. They do all every single thing that God told them. Ninety, they to come up to ninety seven. They go all the way with him to 97. But when it came to 90, 90, okay, 98, 99, 100, oh, they wanted to do it they way. That's when they blew it, family. How you going to walk with God 97% of the way and then get to the last three steps, family? The last 3% and then lose everything because you do it your way. Now you curse yourself. Now you got to live with that, family. And them choices that we make, mm, they not so good, family. You're going to have to be patient and you're going to have to wait on your Lord, family. You're going to have to trust and wait. A lot of our a lot of our fight is just waiting and trusting. Family, that's half the battle right there. At least 75% of it, family. Well, no, that's about half because the other half is you not sinning. That's the other half. You know what I'm saying? You not sinning. You being patient. You trusting in the Lord. Okay, you being you trusting, you being patient, and you having faith in the Lord. That's just one half. That's 50%. You need all of that. But the other half is you not sinning. That makes up the hundred of all the stuff that we got to do. Family, right there. Boom. And we get it. That, that, massive, that massive blessing that God has in store for us because we was patient. You know what I'm saying? We was, we was being, we got we to gotta get our long suffer, suffering and up this, this week, brother. Brother. Got to get our long suffering. Oh, oh, Jehovah, I don't want to be long suffering. Family, family, you was long suffering last week and you didn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? You was long suffering in all them other times in your life and you didn't even know it. Why you can't be long suffering for all the things that God has promised you, brother? Don't that make sense to you? Doesn't it? Can you be long suffering for the Lord? I know you can. I know you can have strength, brother. I know you can have strength and be long suffering for him and be in Thanksgiving. So we're going to be long suffering and Thanksgiving this week. Long suffering and in Thanksgiving this whole week. Sisters, sisters, all my beautiful sisters out there in the world, all my all of Israel family. What is good? What is what is good with the house of Israel? Have a love for your people. Now, sisters, I want you to be long suffering. I do. I, I really do. And I want you to be in Thanksgiving all week long for that husband. Aunt your husband, is it going to work? Is it, you got to be thanking God for your husband. You got to be, you, you, you ain't even got, you, you ain't even, is you even telling God what kind of husband you need, girl? Is you, is you talking to him? Is you being thankful? I know you don't see him. I know you don't even, I know when you go to sleep at night, you sleeping by yourself, girl. I, my heart goes to you. But can you tell God about you being thankful for him? You know what I'm saying? You don't even got him yet. You don't even have him yet. But you need to be thank and being you, you're in, you're in long suffering for that husband, sister. And you being in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Can you can you listen to your brother over here, sister? Listen to me. Listen. 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 Be in thanksgiving to him. Talk to your father about him, and you good. 
Right around the corner. What your brother told you. What the other half is. Oh, brother, you told me I can't be sinning. What I say, brother? What did I say? You said I can't be giving in to my sin. You damn right. You can't be giving in to none of that. I'm, I'm running. I'm ducking and dodging from sin all week long. What, what, sin? I'm running. You know what I'm saying? I'm running. I'm I, okay, I physically ain't gotta move my damn feet, but I'm sure ain't doing. I'm sure ain't doing that, family. I'm sure ain't giving it to none of that. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I might not have to get on the bus and go cross town. I just ain't gotta do none of that, family. I don't have to bring none of that around me. And don't don't let me have a friend or a family that's about that. They, they, they won't be about. They won't be about me then. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need that around me, family. Okay, now. Some things in our life, God, okay, we did that. Now, the devil fears some of us out of, the devil fears some of us out of doing what God wants from us and saying, saying, saying us to do. Don't fear the evil for this is a distraction to keep your mind off of what God has you to do so i don't i don't i don't know how he he mentally attacks family some people get mentally raped by the devil it's sad family raped i'm telling you this family raped they be the devil be on their mind they, they don't have no shield they don't have no guard they don't have nothing he just penetrates all they don't even know how to call him a liar family but the devil be on you family the devil be on you with all his lies and all that so to some people the devil, he will fear them so much to where they would never do what God told them to do, family. It's a shame. The devil will scare them right up over there from doing it. They want to do it, but they too damn scared, family. The devil got them scared, family. They running, they running, family. They running. They is not going to do it. And I bet you that was a big old blessing that they missed, too, because they was too scared to do the work of God, to glorify God, family. If I was too scared to glorify God, I wouldn't even be here talking right now, family. I would not do it, family. This is a big job. Now, check this out. If you live to please people, you will get a reward of flesh. You will. You will. I'm not trying to please these people like that. I'm not, family. I mean that in every entirety of, of, of a person, family. I, I really mean it. I'm not trying to please these people like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to be humble. I'm not, not saying be humble. I'm saying I'm not fit to live for the things that they doing and the things that they want and to be accepted by them. I could give a damn about them. They don't have eternity in the palm of their hand. Okay, now where we was at. Now, if you live to please people, you will get a reward of flesh. So look at these people, family. They get their reward right now. It's in the flesh. They do, family. They get their reward right now. Okay, now... If you live for God, you will get a heavenly reward. God says good. You will have a good set of mind. You will have a good set of mind to live in peace, to hump, to be humble, to to do good works, to have his blessings and his favor in your life. So just by you uh, thinking about God, what was it? If you if you live your life to please God, this is what he's going to put on you. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna put his humble nature on you. He's gonna put his peace on you. He's gonna put his his um his honor on you. He's gonna put it through your good works. He's gonna put his blessings on you. He's gonna put his favor on you. He's gonna have his peace of mind on you, family. He's gonna have all those things on you just by you loving him and being for him. If you if you in this flesh, that's all you're gonna have, family. You just gonna have a fleshly type mind. You you get your reward because you get the flashier things. That's all you get. And some people are happy with that. They take those flashy things and won't have a good peace of mind or peace in their life, and they'd be happy. They'd be happy with that that townhouse that's three stories high. They got the two girl, two girl, two car, two car garage. They'd be happy with that family. And not God. Okay, how long have we been going for now? Okay, we've been pushing over an hour and. I don't want to be bagged up on work. I can't do that. Uh-uh. Let's get through this, family. I can't wait till tomorrow to do this show because that was only two pages, family. That was only two pages right there. I can't wait till tomorrow to, to finish this show. Let me let me look over it to see if there was any important thing that he said. 
Because it was some things that he said. Okay, God can't bless so many different people because they will not help other other people. God bless God blesses those who will bless others. He gives his his greatness to others for them to see his glory. Some people never be used by God cuz they steal they steal his glory and only help themselves. So I really mean that, family. I, I really mean that. And you know your brother. I'm waiting on God to bless me so I could bless all my people, family. And that's why I'm dangerous around here, family. They'd be like, oh, you boasting, you boasting. But there's not a lot of people like me, family. The things I said I'm going to do, I'm going to do that, family. I'm like him. That means something to me. A lot, of, a lot of people say stuff and it doesn't mean anything to them. It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't mean anything. It carries no weight. But if you're a child of God, the things that you say, it should mean something to you. You know what I'm saying? It should mean something to you. And the things I say, they mean something to me. So I know I know if God bless me, I will bless you. You know what I'm saying? I know, he, I, know I would. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm dangerous. And I don't understand why, why our, our people is so quick to... Don't want to help each other. I don't. I don't understand that. And and our rules, we can only we can only be good as our brothers. So if our brothers is doing good, then we doing good. Now you see, you see our people. They doing good, but you ain't. You know what I'm saying? They looking good, but we ain't. You know what I'm saying? But by our culture, by our history, by our traditions of our customs with our God, we all got to be shining around here. They just shining for themselves, family. That's all they worried about. Oh, it's just about me. That's just about me. Now, let me let me ask you to, for the ones who's listening to this message who have all of that. Wh okay, now one day you gotta go. What did what can you say to him about what you did with that for his people? For we are God's chosen people. You ain't even. You don't even gotta answer that to me. You answer that to you and him. You know what I'm saying? That's what you gotta worry about. You know what I'm saying? That for his people because you. I was put on this earth to help black people. God sends me to help white people all damn day long. That's not a problem. But God specifically put me here. That's what I'm. That's what I'm worrying about. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm struggling for. That's what my heart is. God put me here to help my people. So if God put me here. And this skin to help my people. He put Brianna in her skin to help her people. You think she'd be trying to pull up Jamaica? You think you would try to? She'd be trying to send some of her millions of dollars to get them out of debt to build some schools. Are they always talking about they need some schools and some recreational, some some jobs and stuff? They don't want no more prisons and stuff. You think Brianna be helping? But she's not, family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You'd be like, oh, Jehosa, he's snitching. He's snitching. But I'm not like them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like them. This is what I believe. You know what I'm saying? This is what I believe. You don't have to believe it. You don't. Even though it's the truth, you don't have to believe it. You know what I'm saying? You will soon find out that everything that I told you and people like me was the truth. I did my part. So it goes, it falls back to our father want us to lift our brothers up. If you're doing good, brother, you better be lifting your brother up too. You know what I'm saying? You just can't sit up there and shine all by your damn self. Your God don't want you like that. But these silly Negroes, they would rather put $450,000 around their neck and think that that's being something good to their people. I'll leave it alone because for these, these are things that God said and these are our customs you know what I'm saying? of our traditions, of our people. They don't want to acknowledge who they are. And in, in who we are, we look out for one another. I can't shine unless you shining. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even want to shine unless you shining. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like them Negroes that you know. Them Negroes that taught you how to be wrong. And I, I hate your brother. Kill your people. Don't love. Don't love. I'm, I'm, I'm snapping. I'm snapping it on my belly. I get my people to hate each other. Oh, oh, go, go, go. Set it on fire. Oh, go kill your people. Oh, oh, oh. But that's what they taught you. And I'm supposed to be wrong for saying it. They looking at me with the crooked eye. It's people in this town that look at me and they hate me for every single thing that I stand for. For they know, they know if I have my chance, I would unite my people. You know, they hate, they looking at me now. They all serious looking at me now like, oh, snap. Who is this young person? Now, I'm just one man. Just imagine what your father is getting ready to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just one man. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine what your father is getting ready to do. Okay, now. Let's, let's go back to the top, family. 
God wants you to trust him. No, nope, we wasn't on that. God wants to bless. Okay, that's why people don't be getting blessed by God because I'm telling you. Okay, God wants you to trust him. Trust that he will take care of all your needs and watch over you. God wants you to have faith in him to do all he requests of you without trust. You can never have faith. These, these two forces show who you are in God's in God's eyes. <coughs> so I'm sorry, family. I, I sneezed. Family, these two forces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These two forces, bless you, Tiba. These two forces is something that you need to please God. But to me, you can't have one without the other. As much as much as I trust God, I have to have that faith in Him to trust Him. Is trust and faith the same? No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's to a certain degree, it is. But to me, it's two different things. Faith in your God, you love your Father, you have faith in Him. Trust means you're going to trust what he said and do whatever he said. To me, it's two different things, family. You know are saying? Trust and faith. But you need both of these forces to please your, your father. Now, who we are in God. It, now, that shows by your trust and your faith shows God exactly who you are to him. Okay, brothers and sisters, build up your trust and your faith in God. So, you need you need to... I, I'm, I'm me too. I'm not exempt. I'm, I'm doing this too. I got to build up my trust and my faith in the God that way that when he asks me to do something, I just do it. I'm going I'm to step out on my, I'm going to trust him and then I'm going to step out on my faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have my faith. Then I'm going to trust in what he said. You know what I'm saying? And just do it, family. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your house and you and your, your husbands, your daughters, your sons, your wife and Yeshua precious name for he is our Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your house. Hallelujah. 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 Make sure you come get some of this 9 o'clock prayer hour. Shouts out to all of my brothers and sisters who came to the 9 o'clock prayer hour last night. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you. We, you know we doing it big all week long. Family, come get yourself. Come be in the symbol to magnify your father. Let's get this intimate time to throw up some prayers on the behalf of your people. Throw up some prayers on the behalf of your love for your God. Magnify his name and you're good, family. And we out. Do it again tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we out, family. To do it again. We have been blessed. Hallelujah. Now. Okay, now. God wants you to show love for a stranger. For we are strangers in the land of our captivity. So we must show love, not hatred, for the people who love in the, this nation. Built on the backs of your ancestors' blood. So I, I mean that. And I lost a lot of my Hebrews. I, I did. I lost a lot of them. I lost some of my Christian brothers, too. Some of them, I lost them. You know what I'm saying? I, I did. I, I lost them. Let's read it back. Did No, nah, hold on. I ain't got to read it back. Didn't didn't God show up? Didn't, wasn't, look what happened.